Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. If you are new, welcome. I am going to get straight into this. So I was asked to do a, and I really haven't, let me, let me finish. I was asked to do a review video on a particular bag and I want to get into that and uh, just share a little bit about that bag with you guys. Um, I really haven't used it a lot, um, but yeah, I can give you a fair assessment. But it's in the dust bag in its box. And here it is. Um, this beautiful bag. is the Louis Vuitton Love Note. And there are four different, um, I guess, colors of this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the specs on it. Um, but this particular one is, of course, in uh, the black or the noir. This retails for 1960 in the US. Um, the particular, uh, I guess, item number for this, our product code is Emma's and Mary 545 zero zero then you've got a gold um you've got like a pink and white and then a gold and a silver um and right now it's saying a call for availability on this particular bag um so i'm not sure if yeah i'm not sure what the deal is with that but it is all leather i'll get up close it's got this beautiful lv detail you open it up and it looks like an envelope it's beautiful and it just has um, I guess space in through here it's not useful for anything but you just open it up it's got a pocket right here it's just got the care booklet in there and the product and textile card in there but it's just that black microfiber um, interior hope you guys can see that Yeah, so it just has the um, care guide or booklet and then the textile card in that pocket. So this is a great clutch, a great evening bag. Um, I think the black and the gold together are super complimentary. It just has the chain detail on the strap. You can take this off. There you go. And it's got the black leather up top. It's got Louis Vuitton right there i hope it picks it up and then on the grommets it's got louis vuitton as well and i'm not sure if it's gonna let's see if i can get up close but you can wear this over the shoulder i am 5'3 for size reference i have an athletic build um, and that's how it looks super comfortable super cute um, you can take uh, the strap off and wear it as a clutch like so super great evening bag so it's a super cute bag it's beautifully made give you all the sides for the details but I'm going to show you kind of what fits inside. Um, I hope I gave you all the details. I'll look to see if I missed anything. But, yeah, it's super lightweight. It's a great evening bag. Um, it's For me, it certainly wouldn't be an everyday bag. To me, this is a special occasion bag. Um, but, yeah, super cute. Let's see if I missed anything. Um... So we've got the measurements at 10.4, wait, what did I just do? Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. So it's 10.4 inches this way, 10, or 5.9 in height. So length 10.4, 5.9 in height, and then 2.6 um, for the depth. Yeah, and I think that's about it as far as the details, guys. 
So I'm going to kind of show you what fits inside if you were going on a night out. Um, you know, the iPhone, kind of what fits in here. Uh, yeah, so we'll get started on that. All right, guys, so we're going to see what fits inside. I just kind of wanted to show you the difference. This is my Palas BB, and this is the Love Note. And so I'm going to transfer what I've got in here to see what fits in here. And it's going to be for an evening out, because like I said, I mean, I'll just play with some different um, options. Um, but, yeah. Just wanted to show you that comparison. Of course, you will always have your iPhone. I've got a iPhone 7 Plus, so with its case, so that's going to go inside, and it fits beautifully, right there. And of course, you want um, a card holder or a compact wallet or something like that. So I have. The gorgeous Zoe. This is what I've been using all week. Love this thing. It's so stinking cute. So there's the Zoe. That's going to go inside. And there's plenty of room with those two things in there. The Zoe's right here, right there. And of course, you need keys. So I'm going to get my keys. And here's my other emprunt piece. These are holding up so well. I love these so much. So that is my six ring key holder. And that's in the emprunt leather as well. And that's gonna go on the right side. So we've got those three pieces right now. They fit perfectly, as you can see. What else would we need? We'd need a lipstick for evening. So I've got my mini pochette. I'm gonna see if it just fits inside. I think it will, but I've got you know, a uh, lip balm in there, and then of course, uh, I love 100% pure products, so that's a lipstick, and I've got just extra cards in there, so we're gonna see if the mini pochette fits in there. That might be, no, yeah, that actually, I think that will fit perfectly, yeah. Just had to readjust a little bit, um, but it does fit perfectly. Wow, okay. So there it is. So I've got four items in here, and I think that's absolutely perfect um, for an evening out, but you can easily um, eliminate the mini pochette and just put a lipstick in there just to keep it light. But there it is. No stress. Everything fits inside. But you can tell I've got stuff in there now, and she is good to go. Yeah, it's a super light bag. It's so comfortable. It's a beautiful bag. But we will try another option in case you guys kind of do want to use it for maybe a, a day bag. So we know your keys, your phone, and your wallet fits inside. So any card holder is going to fit inside. The Zoe is super small. So I mean, a Victorine I'm sure would fit, but it would probably take up the bulk of your purse. I do have my Rosalie uh, coin purse. So my keys and the phone are going to stay in there. And I'm going to... So here we go, my business card holder. So I'll just stick that in there for another compact wallet. And you can see the difference between the Zoe and um, the business card holder. The business card holder is longer, but I mean, yeah, girth-wise, I guess they're about the same. And this is just a little bit longer. The card holder is just a little bit longer. They're very, very similar in size. So I'll stick that in there. Phone, keys, compact wallet. Sunglasses. I love these so much, you guys. They're awesome. They're so comfortable. They're so pliable. Oh, I love these. All right, so we'll put these in there. right on top and voila fits perfectly again four items and it closes beautifully with no stress 
you can see something down there. But yeah, very nice. What else? If you guys are like agenda folks, we'll see if an agenda will fit in there. Again, I will always have my phone. You guys might have a smaller phone, but I've got mine. I've got my keys. I always have my keys with me. Um, let's go for the PM agenda. I love this thing, you guys. I love these agendas so much. I use them every single day. But that's the PM agenda. And I would think that probably be all that you could put in there because that agenda is pretty thick. But now I, th now I actually, you can definitely put, I'm going to put Zoe back in. You just have to finagle a little bit. Yeah, but it's perfect. Wow. Yep. Let's see if it strains it at all. Um, there's the, I don't know if I showed you guys the made in stamp right there. This was made in France. There we go. But yeah, everything fits. So we'll close her back up. So it does uh, fit quite a lot. That's surprising, very surprising. And there really is no strain. It's a little kind of deformed right here. So I probably wouldn't do that, but I'd adjust it again just to kind of see if it fit better. But um, yeah, it fits. So another four items. So your PM agenda would fit in there. There we go. And we'll just see if a full size wallet will go in with the phone and the keys. And of course, if you had, if you didn't have a six ring or four ring um, key holder, you could just kind of throw your key fob in there. You could probably fit a little bit more, but I take, that's a daily, daily essential for me, my key holder, and it fits perfectly. So you guys, I put a full size wallet in there. I love this too. This is the old style Zippy Compact wallet. I'll show you the interior. Love this so much. But that's the old style. So it goes horizontally rather than um, vertically. I love this thing so much. It's held up so well. There it goes. And it fits perfectly. You could easily stick a lipstick in here. Um, so there's your full size wallet keys and then phone and it closes absolutely seamlessly I still have the plastic covering on there um, what else I want to give you as many scenarios as I can um, okay so we've got the toiletry pouch this is a size 15 there's a 19 and a 26 this is the smallest of that family and we're gonna stick try and stick this in here this might be a little challenge. No, not at all. <laughs> so it's right there with my keys. And then I'm just gonna pop the phone back in. Oh wow, you guys, it fits perfectly. So you could stick your um, toiletry pouch in there as well. And it fits and closes perfectly. No stress, no straining, no deformities. Beautiful. So you guys, this actually does I love smelling the leather. God, I know that's crazy, you guys, but I love it. Um, but yeah, you guys can fit so much in here. Um, if I didn't cover anything, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the, um, let's go ahead and do that now. I'll measure the strap length for you. I always like to have an idea of what that is for myself. And again, you guys, I am 5'3", and um, I lift weights as much as I can, so I have, I guess you could say, an athletic build. Um, and you saw where it fell on me. So it is approximately 16 inches, maybe 16 and a quarter. Um, so 16 and a quarter um, handle, or strap drop, excuse me. All right, you guys, I think I covered pretty much everything. Let me see if there's anything else. Let's 
yeah i think that's pretty much it you guys it fits a ton as you can see it's gorgeous i mean if you guys are looking for a great evening bag i highly recommend it it is super light price point i guess for an all leather bag um i don't know 1960 i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's just one of those things it's you know to each their own right but um it's a gorgeous bag you know it's beautiful i love 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 this bag um it's just a great evening date bag if you wanted to use it on the daily you definitely could i am very i'm finding i'm very partial to crossbody bags um this you couldn't wear crossbody obviously um because it would you know hang right up here but um it's a great evening bag, it really is. But if, you, you know, the more petite girls or whatever wanted to carry on the daily, you definitely could. Because I know a lot of you guys don't carry a lot. Um, I have definitely, definitely downsized just because, you know, my back and my shoulders. Like, I'll just take my never full with me, stick it in the trunk, and then just take a smaller bag and um, wear that. But, yeah, it's a beautiful bag. Um, I don't think I missed anything. If I did, please those, uh, leave those questions, excuse me, down below. Um... Gave you mod shot. Yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any uh, video requests or any comments or questions, please leave those down below. As always, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next one, guys. Take care.